Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let us learn how to gap fill or bestripe Landsat 7 satellite imagery for scientific analysis. In 2003, Landsat developed a technical snag due to which all the images post-2003 had a lot of stripes in them. This made the Landsat images post-2003 virtually unusable for scientific analysis. Today let us learn how to do these gap filling or striping of these images so that we can use them for scientific analysis. However, disclaimer is that you will not be able to get a perfect image but we will definitely be forced to use Landsat images for many of the scientific analysis and this is the best available solution that is proposed by NASA. In another video in the same uh, channel, I have explained how to destripe satellite images, that is Landsat 7 images, for uh, display purposes. However, you can use it for limited scientific analysis purpose, whereas primarily that method can be used for display purpose or here this particular method is for scientific analysis. However, this is a, a bit lengthy process as you will be destriping each and every band in the image and will be layer stacking these images at the later stages in the other method where you will be using it for uh, display purposes you can layer stack all the images then you can carry out the striping please do watch this video completely so that you can select the images perfectly to fit your application since this is for a scientific analysis unless you watch it completely you might end up in selecting two images that may not fit your analysis perfectly let us open eridas imagine and i have selected three images let me explain briefly the problem in the images this is 2002 image and this is before the landsat has developed any technical snack you can see the image is very clear and this is band number five and i have not done layer stacking yet because here i am required to do destriping first then carry out the layer stacking process this is 2002 and let us see what is 2008 these are 2008 images that is post 2003 images it has developed a lot of gaps here and this is 2010 image here are, to carry out gap filling processes you will be needed two or more satellite images of the same area so that the data that is not available here that is in these gaps there is no data that data our model will extract from the other satellite images and fit it in these gaps so ideally what we should be doing is take one image of pre-2003 that is this image where there is no gap and take another image of 2003 and carry out the destriping process but say this image is 2002 and this image is 2010 there is a solid gap of eight years if it is an urban area or if it is an area where you have extensive uh, deforestation activity you might end up having a lot of changes between these two images which might make your result inaccurate so there is one interesting thing that i would like to show you here that let's remove the 2002 image and concentrate on 2008 image there is an interesting thing that you can see these two gaps are not um, exactly overlapping on each other so the gap or the no data area in 2008 
is not same as 2010. So no data area in 2008 are having data in 2010 and vice versa. So if you are gap filling 2008 image, you can use 2010 image to fill these gaps and vice versa so that your image is current. So how do we select the images first? Point number one, select two dates which are approximately close so that your land use changes are not too much and also try to select the images approximately of the same season like say if you are gap filling an image of a rainy season try to select another image of the same rainy season so that the land use changes that occurs due to seasonal variations is also accounted for but there is one more thing that you will be required to see is that say this 2008 image is having a lot of clouds so this image might become very useless to fill the gaps because your 2008 image will end up having a lot of clouds in these gaps so select cloud free data in addition to the conditions that I have just told and also once you have selected you just see that these gaps do not exactly coincide with the other if it ends up coinciding exactly with the other then you might still end up having a lot of gaps in your resultant image now as we see that 2008 image is having a lot of clouds i'll just remove it and now i have an image of 2010 that has gaps or stripes and i have a 2002 image that is not having any stripes however you can select the image with both having stripes and still carry out the process and the process remains exactly same say once you have completed the process if you feel there is the gap has reduced but still a small stripe is still remaining that is still possible because the second image may not be able to fill the all the gaps in the first image due to slight overlapping of the gaps in that case you may have to go for the third image that's why i have initially told either you will need two or more than two images to carry out the process so now in this case we let's consider we have only two images one is without any gaps the other with a lot of gaps and now let's see how do we carry out this process we will be carrying out process using the model maker in Erdas Imagine. Let us go to toolbox option here. And if you are using an older version, you have a model maker available there directly. Here in 2014 version, you have toolbox option under which you have model maker. In that one, just select model maker. What we will be primarily doing is a mosaicing process which will extract data from one image and gap fill the other image so this is your model and you can see this button this is place a raster object in the model so we will have two raster because one is 2010 and the other one is 2002 let's open 2002 image here just navigate to the place from where you have got this image and this is uh, 2002 image I have selected 2002 image accept all default values to be true and click OK and let's go to the second image the second image is 2000 10 image as you can see which you are interested to do gap filling this is 2010 image I have selected it and accepting all defaults and I'll click OK now you have loaded your two rasters let's see what this button is 
plays a function in the model this plays as a function which means if you are carrying out any arithmetic process this button will be enabling you to carry out any process so let's click it here and this has no connection so let us take an arrow mark and connect these two images to this process now you have connected these two images to this process now is the most important thing just double click on this here you go this is where you will be defining your destriping function and it is very simple and logical step just apply your mind you will be able to do it by yours and make sure that you have selected the same band in both here i have selected both to be band number five now what i want to define is i want all the data in 2010 and wherever there is a gap i want a data from 2002 so how do i define that i have to put either either 2010 in the bracket I will put if this is more than 0 and I will close the bracket now what I am telling is either I want this data if this data is not having zeros all zeros are represented as stripes in the image as you have seen so I want the data from 2010 if it is not zero or if it is zero what should I be doing this data just you have to put otherwise so what it means to say is take data from 2010 if 2010 data is not zero or if it is zero take this data and that completes your function your data function is complete and we need an output raster select again this is the raster option place it here and take an arrow again draw it from here to here just double click on that and give the output name for the result what i will do is i will uh, select a name as a gap fill and you can change the output format i'll keep it as in img format I click ok this is your model now let us run the model by clicking this button and see if it runs no there is a problem it says there is a problem at or near if let's close and go to the function and see where is the problem here is your if function yes there is a problem because your if function should be outside the bracket let's put if outside the bracket and click ok your function is complete now let us see if it runs now click it is initializing it is processing the points which means your model is correct it is executing if there is a problem it will definitely tell you where exactly is the problem or approximately to this point you have to go there and see what is the problem compared with the syntax and correct it accordingly since it is a programming small programming it exactly takes as it has to take if there is any slight changes like keeping if outside or inside or there is no gap where you are supposed to give a gap it will throw an error whenever it throws an error it will tell you in this message you can go to that point and correct it accordingly now it has completed the process you can see it and let's close this I will not advise you to close this one before saving you have to save it primarily because you have gap filled only one band whereas you have to gap fill further six to seven bands 
if you have this ready-made model it is very simple where you can just define the input files both and just define the output file and function from fifth band to the fourth band if you have gap filling the fourth band automatically changes in the function so you have to save it so that your work in future becomes simple and your work will only be till defining input and output files all other things will be taken care by your saved model now let's go and uh, open the model that we have just gap filled and open it this is your gap filled image if you have zoomed out you can just compare it with the 2010 image you can see a lot of gaps and come here there are no gaps though you see some contrast between the area where there was gap and where it was the original image this gap is there primarily because you are using two different images of two different seasons and two different years and also there is a big gap of eight years between the first image and the second image once you address these images this contrast reduces that is point number one and also once you gap fill all the bands and layer stack them layer stacking is explained in another video in this channel once you do that your these gaps what you are seeing will be reduced to a great extent as i have already told you 100 percent perfect solution for this problem is not available because it's a problem with the sensor and this is the best solution in the available scenario in the existing scenario so in this tutorial you have not only learned how to gap fill the landsat imagery for scientific analysis but also basics of modeling in erdas imagine you also know now how to use the model maker to create small models you can that's all about gap filling landsat image for scientific analysis thanks for watching